guys. So I've been in the dark for like the past three days and I know that may be like a figurative form of speech but no literally like I've been in the dark. Places that were built in like the 70s don't have lights in the rooms like they required everything to be lamps. So I have to have lamps in my room to light the room. Well my main lamp blew the other day and I didn't have any, any more light bulbs so I've been in the dark fun stuff so today I went and bought some light bulbs I, I like stood in the aisle for probably five or six minutes and it's all Steven's fault it's all your fault Steven you made a comment some random comment weeks ago about having those energy saving bulbs and I was like staring at the energy saver bulbs and I was like should I get an energy saver bulb should I get one should I not should I get one should I not? It literally went back and forth forever. And um, I guess I can tell you that I got one. I got one. Uh, but that's where the trouble began. I went home, I put the bulb in the lamp, and it sucks. <laughs> like it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like the same equivalence of a 100 watt, 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 a watt, bulb, a 100 watt bulb, bulb. And it doesn't work very good. Like it barely lit the room. So I went and got a regular one. And I'm using the regular one. I'm gonna put the energy one in something else. And, and maybe something that doesn't require a lot of light. But it's the only light in my room and it makes my room look really dark. <sighs> so I, I got a regular one. See, this is my philosophy. I'm all for saving the environment because we only got one. But I'm kind of lazy about it. A little bit. Which is perfect because I ended up finding this show called The Lazy Environmentalist. It's on, I think, like the Discovery Channel or something like that. But it's this guy who talks about simple things you can do to save the environment without necessarily like changing your lifestyle completely. So I recycle and I'm getting a compost bin and I'm a big fan of thrift stores. I go to Goodwill, which is a thrift store here all the time. I, I give stuff to Goodwill. I even have a book called The Scavengers Manifesto. And it's all about like finding ways to get cheap stuff, uh, renew stuff, give away stuff. It's a pretty cool book. And um, I'm a big fan of SwapTree.com. If you don't know what SwapTree.com is, you can put your old books, CDs, video games, DVDs on there, and then you can trade with people all across the United States to get new stuff. And all you gotta do is pay for shipping. And I'm I'm a big fan of that. So I'm definitely all for the environment. I just I just I don't think I don't think it really. This one just, it outperforms!